What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve a linear equation that's made up of fractions, okay? So as you can see, we have a problem right here that is x over 3 plus 5 over 3 is equal to 5 sixths. So how do you solve for x right here? So we need to isolate x by itself on one side of this equal sign right here. Okay, so in order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this 5 thirds, and I'm going to do that by simply subtracting 5 thirds. Okay, but remember what you do to one side, you have to do to the other, right? So if I'm going to subtract 5 thirds from here, I have to do it over here also. Okay, so simplifying this, we're just going to have x over 3, right? And then 5 thirds, positive 5 thirds minus 5 thirds, that just goes to 0, right? These cancel each other out. So plus 0 if you want to see it that way. And then that's going to be equal to 5 6 minus 5 thirds, which I'll work out over here. So 5 6 minus 5 thirds. Okay, so how do you subtract these fractions here? Well, if you don't remember, they, the main thing is they have to have the same denominator. So one way you can make them have the same denominator is how can you turn 3 into 6? Well, you can multiply by 2, right? Because 3 times 2 is equal to 6. But the thing is, if you're going to multiply by 2 on the bottom, you also have to multiply by 2 on the top. Okay, so I can actually simplify this. I can say 5 over 6 minus, and then 5 over 3, if I multiply it by 2 on the bottom and the top, it's going to turn into 10 over 6, okay? So now they have the same denominator, right? So now you can subtract these. So 5 minus 10, that's equal to negative 5, right? And that's going to go over 6, right? We have a 6 here, we have a 6 here, so you just keep the 6. Okay, so 5 over 6 minus 5 over 3 is equal to negative 5 over 6, okay? So simplifying this a little bit more, we're going to have x over 3 is equal to negative 5 over 6. Okay, so now we have a ratio set up, and the way you solve ratios is by cross multiplying. So in case you don't remember how to cross multiply, you literally just, you can draw a cross if you want, and it'll show you what numbers and variables you're going to multiply together, okay? So I'm going to multiply x times 6, and I'm going to set that equal to 3 times negative 5, okay? So again, x times 6, or in other words, 6x, and that's going to be equal to 3 times negative 5, which is equal to negative 15. Okay, so I'm almost done. Now I just have 6x is equal to negative 15. To solve for this x right here, since I'm multiplying, in order to undo that, I'm going to divide by whatever I'm trying to get rid of, which would be the 6, right? Because I'm trying to get x by itself. So if I divide by 6 on this side, I also have to divide by 6 on that side. So then these 6s cancel out, so on this side I'm just left with x, and that's equal to negative 15 over 6. Which we can still reduce because the top and the bottom are both divisible by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 6 divided by 3 is 2, right? And don't forget your answer is negative, right? So carry that right there. So your final answer right here would be x is equal to negative 5 over 2. Or if you wanted to write this as a mixed fraction, you could write it as negative 2 and a half. Okay, or as a decimal, it would be negative 2.5. All of these are the same thing, and they are all acceptable answers. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.